Hello everyone. This is a visit video, a very short one. I will um, try to show you how connectors work in the new 2025 Wizim version. They have updated um, the way they, you can set them up quite significantly, I think. It made it easier now and more graphical, while previously you had to use windows and ticking options. Now it is more visual. I have placed two um, links just to start with and as you can see there are now these little handles you can use these to increase the number of lanes very easily so let's make the first one a two lane and the other one as a three lane link so now let's try to connect them so what you do is you hold control down as previously and just hold from one link to another one as you can see it works the same way that way However, when you hold it down, you can see that regarding uh, the, that short lane, that merge or diverge, that half lane, while I keep holding right click the right button down and if you move it to the top or button, um, Vizim changes automatically how the lanes are arranged. So let's just place it like this and let's make some updates later. As you can see here, in previous version you had like options here to tick which lane to which lane you want the connector to go, but now you don't have that option anymore. So what you do, as you zoom in, as you can see there are three handles on one side and there is one handle on the other side. By the, the first and the last handle changes these or creates these short lanes. If I hold on to the left button, as you can see, I can just move it like that. And as I move it here, also free handle appears. So once it's not a short lane, but a normal full two lane connector, you have the same um, middle handle on each side as you have it for links. So you can um, just decrease the number of lanes like this. And also, as you can see, there is this connector now and the start and the end. So you can also create like a short lane. <laughs> and you can see it only allows you to create one. So you can't go from one lane to two. And you can do that. You can also create like a, this diverge when this lane goes into two. That's something you couldn't really do previously. Um, or I can't remember ever doing it and so now you can use these and you can always use just that to go back to two it's very good and very easy because previously to create this you had to use like an extra link so it is very easy to do these now and also with the lane <laughs> you can set up graphically very easily different ways and you can also move it from here to there you can lock that up you can move any way you want you can create short lanes you can also do that it wouldn't make any sense of course but as you can see it, it, it is a very good tool i think it's much easier to do than uh, previously it works very efficiently so um, yeah, basically that's it. I hope you liked the video. Um, consider liking and subscribing. And also if you want to support me, just head to my uh, Patreon channel or on YouTube. You can sign up as a member. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.